and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's video, I am here in... Why are you talking to me, Ate? Karan! Palawan! And yun na nga guys, new normal. So, maraming mga... Um, kailangang requirements and kailangang gawin bago makapunta dito sa Koron. And of course, I will discuss everything in this video. We're going to stay here for 5 days and 4 nights. And if you want to know what's gonna happen next, just keep on watching. So yun guys, kakarating lang namin sa aming hotel. We are here at Two Seasons um, Bayside Hotel. And everything is planned by Fulham Road Travel as always. Everything of course, like the itinerary and our budget, ilalagay ko lahat sa description box. So before we start, you know, with the tours and everything, syempre kailangan ko munang i-discuss yung mga requirements na kailangan nyo pag pupunta kayo dito sa Koron. So, dahil may full ham travel nga, sobrang dali lang ng buhay namin. Like, all we had to do is get our RT-PCR test. And guys, meron akong tip para sa inyo. Yung RT-PCR test namin, 750 pesos lang. And bakit 750 pesos lang? Ito kasi is sinubsidize ng Department of Tourism. So, meron silang partnership with PGH and PCMC na para maging 50% off yung mga rt -PCR. PCR test nila. So, sa amin, nag-avail kami noon. And in fairness, guys, sobrang hassle-free. I encourage you guys to try this out, lalo na kung nagtitipid kayo. And yung experience namin, sobrang dali lang. One hour lang kami nag-antay doon. And ayun, may RT-PCR test na kami. After 24 hours, may results na agad. I will put a link sa description box for the complete steps kung paano mag-avail ng 50% off ng RT-PCR test para just in case may mga hindi ako na-discuss, andun na lahat. So, ano nga ba yung mga kailangan nyo when you want to avail this 50% off? So, syempre, kailangan nyo yung ticket ninyo, yung booking nyo sa hotel ninyo, and of course, kailangan nyo rin ng ID. This is for tourists lang, guys, ha? Turista lang. Kung uuwi ka sa probinsya mo, hindi siya pwedeng i-avail. This is, again, for tourists only. Magsasubmit ka lang ng application 5 days before before your flight, tapos 3 days before your flight, may mag email sa sa'yo ng schedule mo. So, let's say, yung flight mo is December 25. So, by December 20, kailangan naka-apply ka na. By December 22, may mag email sa sa'yo kung anong schedule mo. And usually, the next day agad yung schedule mo, tapos nakabanggit doon kung anong time. So, sa amin, ang flight namin is February 2. So, yung test namin is January 31. And then, nakuha namin yung results the next day after 24 hours, February 1 ng 12 noon nakuha na namin yung results namin. So, ganun lang siya kabilis. Sobrang hassle-free. And again, 750 pesos lang siya. And merong app dito sa Corona. It's called Craze App. Tapos, every time na may QR code, kailangan mong iscan yun. Itong mga requirements na to, you don't need to print it out. Kahit screenshot lang sa mga cellphone ninyo, okay na yon. And in fairness, guys, pagkadating Ting na pagkadating namin dito sa Koron, bago ka makapasok sa airport, as in sinasanitize nila lahat ng bags, tapos kailangan mong magwash ng hands before going inside the airport. And of course, yun nga, kailangan mo yung trace app to scan the QR code para matrace nila na you've been to the airport and syempre sa mga ibang lugar pa na pupuntahan mo dito sa Koron. So that's it guys, yun na yung mga kailangan yung requirements when coming here to Koron. And again, I will just put links sa description box just in case na may mga hindi ako nabanggit. So yan na nga, let's do a quick room tour. So, quick room tour upon entering. Ayan, meron tayong malaki-laking cabinet dito. So, you can put all your clothes there. Yung mga maleta mo dito. And then, ayan, cabinet. Meron rin silang bathrobe. Ayan, laundry bag. And this side naman, meron tayong CR, of course. So, this is the shower. And then, mirror. That's me. Toilet. So, this is the main bed. Dito kami ni Miguel. And meron tayong third wheel. Si Ate Als. May third wheel bed. <laughs> Ito ang kanyang third wheel bed. So, ayan. Meron tayong TV. We have bedroom slippers. And we have a very big mirror for OOTD. <laughs> and ayan, may pa fruits pa sila. Oh. Thank you so much to Seasons for the fruits. And of course... And meron tayong mga mask, cleansing wipes, and meron din silang pa-alcohol. 
And then this part, of course, we have water, coffee, tea, initan ng tubig, and we have a small refrigerator. And dito sa labas, oh diba guys, this is the best part. Look at that view! Time check guys, it's already 1pm. And andito kami sa restaurant nila. So this is Two Seasons. And it's our favorite restaurant in Boracay. Kasi sobrang sarap ng four cheese pizza nila. And oyster sisig. So for sure, yun yung order rin namin. Guys, fake news, wala palang oyster sisig dito. I felt sad. Pero at least may four cheese pizza sila. So... This is the four cheese pizza. Yum! And then we ordered pasta. Hi guys! Time check. Ano oras na ba? 4.20. So we've been hanging around the swimming pool. So I'll show you kung ano itsura ng view dito. Ayun, tumambay lang kami dito. Um, after lunch. Pero paakyat na rin ako. So, yan. Pwede kayong tumambay dyan. Katabi lang din yung restaurant, guys. Yung pool. So, yung restaurant dyan lang din. Tapos yung lobby dito. Joke lang, joke lang. <laughs> We are having dinner here at Levine. So, nag-tricycle lang kami. 20 pesos each. Tapos, guys, meron silang sunset rooftop. So, yun ang ating um, pinunta dito. <laughs> So, we're here at the rooftop. So, maganda sana siya guys kung sunset. But late na kami dumating. The food is affordable. Around 100 to 200. Tapos good for two na yun. So, nag-order kami ng tatlong ulam. So, mga around ano lang 500, 600. So, not bad. For three. Yeah. So, take 200 ang box. Guys, ang dami nung serving. Ito yung kangkong. And this is the spicy eggplant. Mamaya pa yung fish. So yeah, let's eat. We're done with dinner, guys. And yung bill namin is 500 pesos only. For three. So sobrang sulit, in fairness, dito sa Levine's Restaurant. And vegan friendly. And very affordable. So... Next, we're going to Pedro's Gelato, my super duper ultimate favorite. Wow. <laughs> Guys, update. Pedro's Gelato is closed here in Coron. Pero meron na daw sila sa SM North. So, pupuntahan na lang namin doon. And then, naghanap ulit kami. Itong Follow Your Taste, it's also closed. So, hindi namin alam kung saan kami pupunta. <laughs> um, last time na pumunta kami dito, nag-inuman din kami doon. But it's closed. So, I think ang gagawin na lang namin is mag sa hotel. <laughs> Guys, we're back at the hotel kasi sarado. <laughs> sarado yung mga dessert place and yung mga inuman, sarado din. Pero we'll try our best to look for more restaurants tomorrow kasi syempre... Uh, pangit naman kung dito lang kami sa hotel kakain. So yun guys, early tulog ngayon. Birthday ni Ate Alz bukas. Yay! So mukhang hindi kami magsasalubong. 8.30 kami bukas yung call time. So we have to be awake at around 6. Sa breakfast na 7. Yan. So yun guys, good night! Palawan and tour A tayo ngayon guys and nakalkal ko na yung itinerary natin for today. So we are going to Kayangan Lake, Queen Reef. So I think meron kami yung snorkeling today. Um, Green Lagoon, CYC Beach, CYC Coral Garden, and then Sunset Beach. And like always, gagawin ko na lang munang montage yung mga lahat na pupuntahan namin today. And then, I will discuss after kung may mga tips ba ako para sa inyo and all that. So right now, it's... Ano oras ba? 
7.18, magbe-breakfast na kami sa baba. And then, um, call time namin for the tour is 8.30. So, medyo may time pa tayo. So, let's go eat breakfast! This is what I'm having for breakfast. American breakfast. So, my bacon, egg, bread. Tapos, may kasamang kalamansi juice and coffee. Finally back at the hotel and it's currently 3.19 in the afternoon. Grabe, sobrang sulit nung tour kasi konti lang yung tao. Lalo na dun sa Kayangan Lake as you can see dun sa ating montage. As in totally kami lang. So sobrang na-enjoy namin. Nakapag-swimming kami ng bongga. The problem is wala tayong underwater videos because nakalimutan ko yung um, case ng Osmo Pocket ko. So baka kailangan ko na talaga bumili ng GoPro para at least may pang montage tapos may pang underwater but yun na anyway babawi kami bukas marami ulit snorkeling bukas so dadalhin ko na talaga yung case ng Osmo Pocket para makapag underwater um, videos ulit tayo and in fairness dun sa first yun sa Queen Reef dun sa Sunset Beach isang place lang siya yung Sunset Beach and yung Queen Reef so nag snorkeling kami doon and dami ring fish and um, magaganda yung corals doon. Make sure to bring your snorkeling gear. Um, pwedeng mag-rent doon. So, kung wala kayong personal na ganon, pwedeng mag-rent na lang. Yung snorkeling gear, ni-rent namin siya 150 pesos each. Tapos, nag-rent rin kami ng kayak. So, that's 1,000 pesos. Okay lang naman kahit hindi kayo mag-kayak. Kasi, same experience din naman. Actually, hindi namin siya masyadong nasulit kasi mas nag-enjoy kami sa pag-swim. And bawal mag-kayak sa Kayangan Lake. So, hindi namin siya nagamit. Nagamit namin siya sa Sunset Beach and sa CYC Beach. Yung lunch namin, sobrang sulit. Ang dami. ba? And di nga namin siya naubos. Tapos may pamerienda pa kanina ang banana queue. So, sobrang sulit. Mamaya magde-decide pa kami kung saan kami magde-dinner. And then, try namin maghanap ng mga open na bar or like dessert place kung meron kaming mahanap. So, ayun guys. We'll update you later kung ano mga kaganapan. Dinner time, guys. It's 6.46. Andito tayo sa Sip and Savor. So, ayan siya. Doon siya sa taas. There you go. This is what the place looks like. Sobrang cute. Very artsy. So, yun, guys. We ordered our food. And, uh, walang tao. Kami lang ulit. It's empty. Anyway, their food is more on snacks. 
Meron, marami silang variety before, pero since, you know, wala masyadong tao, ganyan, nilimit nila yung menu nila. So, they only have snacks, mga chicken popcorn, ganun. Meron din silang mga coffee, mga lemonade. They also have Mexican food. So, mga quesadilla, nachos, tacos, and all day breakfast. And very affordable, as in, ranges 100 to 150 pesos. So, not bad. Ayan, yung menu nila. So, this is the food, guys. Sobrang sulit for the price, in fairness. Medyo madami siya. O, oh, ba? Let's eat! So, guys, we're done with our... Uy, okay, Nina, makuhulog pa ako. We're done with our dinner. And in fairness, sulit siya. So, we're just going to buy some mga pwedeng merienda. <laughs> Mamaya. Just in case magutom. Kim? Okay. Taba to? Hindi. Ayo? Hindi. Lugar? Hindi. Pagkain? Uh, Oo. Uh. Okay, let's go this one. Gulay? No. Yes! Okay, citrusy? No. No. Frutas, okay. Apo. Ah, English? Ah. Yes. Okay. Apple? Yes! Ah. Oh, alam mo, hindi mo nakuha yan. Alam mo, just... sobrang dali naman yan. Bigyan pa ko isa. Hindi na. One-on na tayo, ha. Huwag na kayong ano, ha. Oh, yeah, bang, me, me, me. Di mo ko. Ay, gusto mo siya. Kinuha niya sa akin kanina. Okay. Okay. Good morning, day! Three, na ba? <laughs> Here in Coron. And it's already 8 a.m. Nakapag breakfast na kami. I ordered French toast. Okay, we're going to do Tour B today. So, for Tour B, we're going to Barracuda Lake, Twin Lagoon, Skeleton Wreck. So, marami na namang snorkeling today. Smith Beach, and then Reef Garden. Ngayon, inaantay na lang namin mag 8:30 para bumaba at mag-start with our tour. So, same as yesterday, um, montage na lang din yung buong tour natin today and then, I'll give you my insights after the montage. So, yun guys! See you at the tour! at the hotel, it's 4 p.m. already. Medyo mas matagal yung tour namin today kasi talagang sinulit namin because yung sister ni Miguel, si Ate Als, today is her last full day bukas yung flight niya. Grabe, nakakapagod. Pero sobrang sayo kasi medyo marunong na ako sumisid ng mas malalim ngayon compared dati. And yun, parang feeling ko gusto ko na talagang matutong mag-free dive ng legit. Wala talagang tao dun sa mga destination na napuntahan namin. As in, totally wala kaming nakasabay. So, sobrang na-enjoy namin yung view. Sobrang nag-enjoy kami na mag-take ng photos and all that. Yung last stop namin is the Barracuda Lake. And unfortunately, as in, nagloka na naman yung aking Osmo Pocket. So, hindi kami nakapag-take ng underwater videos. Pero... Ayun, nakapag-take naman ako ng slight clips as you can see. And guys, may nakita kaming barakuda. And sabi nung aming tour guide, very rare daw talaga 
na makakita ng barakuda doon. Kasi usually pag maraming tao, hindi sila nagpapakita. Pero since kami lang talaga yung andol, may nakita kami. Twice kami nakakita. So, super ganda na experience. Sana lang talaga na-take ko siya with my underwater camera. Pero ayun nga, nagloko siya. Medyo inulan kami sa Smith Beach and sa Barracuda Lake. Pero eventually nawala naman siya. So, okay lang. Today, medyo gloomy yung weather. Umuulan-ulan. Pero okay lang. Perfect pa rin. Nag-enjoy pa rin kami. So, ayun. Mag-wash up na rin kami. And then, for dinner, kakain kami sa Santino's Grill. Kasi kahapon may mga nakasalubong kaming viewers. And yun yung nirecommend nila sa aming restaurant. So, nabalitaan namin, guys, na sarado na rin pala ang lobster. King. Um, kinainan namin yun last time na pumunta kami dito sa Coron. I'm not sure if it's permanently closed or closed lang kasi konti pa yung mga tourist ngayon dito sa Coron. So, ayun guys, we're just going to freshen up and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, it's dinner time and we're here at Santino's Grill. Nakakatawa guys, sa Sintila mo, nagsuot pa kami ng mga dress, outfit, nag-makeup pa, lahat-lahat. Tapos paglabas namin ng um, two seasons, nag kami ng tricycle. Tapos sabi ko, parang ante-ante pa tayo ng tricycle, baka naman yan lang yung Santino's ha. Tapos sinearch ko nga sa Google Maps, guys, ito nga, as in, mga 20 steps away from two seasons. So, buti na lang. Ang lakas ng gut feeling ko. Oh my God. So, andito na kami. We're going to order food. This is what we're having for dinner. Parang ang sarap nito guys. Sisling bulalo. My favorite. Ensaladang palong with salted egg. And ano ito at us? Tanigi? Tanigi. Butter something. So, order pa kami ng additional kasi I think kulang to. Mga pagod na pagod. Gusto namin kumain. Tapos na kami mag-dinner guys. And final verdict. Ang sarap no sizzling bulalo. You have to try this. Yes. Yung chicken sisig din, masarap daw. And my favorite, and saladang talong, ubos. Worth it yung price, kasi masarap siya. So I think yung per ulam is around 200, 300. Not bad. Hindi ganun karami yung serving, pero masarap siya. So, sulit. Must try. Good morning! Day 4! And last day ni Ate Als. Ate Als, bye bye. <laughs> but anyway, we're just going to have our breakfast. Tapos today, we're going to have the escapade tour. Tatlo lang yung locations, pero malayo. Kaya entire day rin siya. So, ayun guys, bababa na kami to eat breakfast. Belated happy birthday. Ay, ayun na nalang. Yung blue cheek. Nasaan? Happy birthday to you. Uwi ka na. just got home from our escapade tour and grabe such a relaxing day ang ganda ng mga beaches na pinuntahan namin bulog dos yung una naming pinuntahan meron siyang malit na sandbar so kailangan mo mag cross para makapunta doon um, konting ano lang naman pero maganda doon kailangan yung pumunta doon sa sandbar na yun and take lots of photos and the next pinuntahan namin is banana island kung saan kami nag lunch and guys ang ganda rin ng tubig doon grabe and very relaxing. Doon kami medyo nagtagal kasi nga doon kami kumain ng lunch. Tapos, the last island that we went to is Malkapuya Island. Nakapunta na kami doon before actually. And dati, hindi namin siya masyadong na-appreciate kasi madaming tao. Pero kanina grabe, sobrang ganda. And I think yung Malkapuya Island yung favorite ko among the three islands that we went to. So and guys, for dinner, I think dito na lang kami sa hotel. Mag-room service na lang kami. Kasi may online meeting kami ng mga 
dinner time. And then, ayun, tomorrow, pabalik na kami sa Manila. Pansin nyo, guys, <clears throat> medyo namamaos na ako sa pagod. And ayan, sobrang tan na tan na ako. So, ayun, guys, mag-wash up na ako. And then, I'll update you later. Good morning! Last day! So, ayan, guys, dahil sira daw ang um, para mga machine nila sa airport, kailangan pumunta doon 3 hours before your flight. So, flight namin is 12. Manually nila iti-check yung mga bag. Kasi walang scanner, sira daw, and all that. So, ayun. Actually, plano namin sana umakyat sa Mount Tapias. Kasi walang bayad yon And, um, hindi mo kailangan ng guide or anyone para umakyat doon. So, if you're planning to come here to Coron and you have spare time, you can go and hike Mount Tapias. It's 700 plus na steps. Kaya siya within one hour. So, mabilis lang. So, if you're looking for an extra activity before leaving, ayun, pwede naman. Pero, yun, sayang din namin nagawa ni Miguel. And, yun, kagabi, hindi na ako nakapag-update kasi sobrang pagod ko. Nagpahinga lang ako the entire night. Tapos, nag-room service na lang kami. So, yun, guys. Um, tapos na naman tayo sa isang vlog. And, as usual, lahat ng details nasa description box, itinerary, and budget. And again, yung travel agency namin for this trip is Fulham. Lalagay ko na lang yung Instagram nila dito. You can simply contact them on Instagram, message them if you have any questions or if you want to inquire. And also, marami rin nagtatanong sa inyo kung required ba ang RT-PCR test ulit pagbalik sa Manila. Um, hindi na siya required, pero... Sa amin, ang ginagawa namin, nagpapatest kami ulit just to make sure kasi para confident rin kami makihalubilo ulit sa ibang tao sa Manila. So yun guys, if you have any questions, just comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till my next vlog. Bye!